Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can take the classroom we created as a template and duplicate it. Now you can do this with any course that you like. You can do it with an existing course, you can do what's called a backup and you can back up all of the course, uh, part of the course, whatever you like and then you can actually restore it and create a new course based on that backup. It's a bit like copy and paste really. Um, so what you do is you go down to the administration block and you see there's an option there, backup. So that's the first thing you need to do is create a backup. And you have the choice when you create the backup of what you want to include in the backup. So you could, you could create different types of backups if you wanted. In this instance, I want everything included in here, including the user data and the users and everything that's here, I want it exactly like this. Now, if you're backing up a course that you've used previously, very often you won't want to include the user data, so you could click off that none, because you don't want to include your current users or anything that they've posted, say, to forums, etc. But in this instance, because it's a blank course, and I've created it exactly as I want it and I want the users that are in there because I've set up the groups and I've put users in there. I'm going to leave everything as the default. So if you just scroll down and hit continue, uh, you can give it a name. It by default puts today's date in and just a, a random digit. I'm going to call this... Um, I'm just going to call this one version 1 so that we know this is the first one that, that we've done. And so I'll just hit continue again. And now it's actually going through the process of backing up and you'll see all this very exciting stuff on the screen and then you'll see this backup completed successfully. So you just click continue. And what it will do is take you to the file section and in the folder backup data and you'll see this is the backup here. So it's a zip file. So you could actually download that if you want, um, whatever you like. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to restore this class exactly from this backup. So you can see there's an option there, Restore. So I'm just going to click on that. And it's about to restore from that backup and we will have the choice whether we want to replace the course that we're uh, restoring or whether we want to create a new classroom altogether. So it just gives us some details, we can, can continue and we can say where we want to put it and we give it a short name and a full name. Now by default it's picking everything up from the template so I'm just going to call this uh, L&E, so imagine it's for a competency, legal and ethical. And I'm leaving all of this as it is. So I'm just scrolling down and there is an option just here whether you want to include groups or not. So that's very important for this particular course and this particular template. So I'm just going to hit continue and it's going to restore and it actually doesn't take very long and you just sort of scroll down, it'll only take a, a few seconds and then you can see the restore has been completed successfully. So I click continue and there's my brand new classroom, uh, L&D and it's ready for me to now start modifying and to start putting in content. So I'll just show you quickly how to do that in the next video. Okay, so I'll talk to you again in a minute.